How much power do these fans use? What does it cost? And is there a difference between the, the speed settings, low, medium, and high? Um, we'll find out uh, in just a moment. Hi there, it's Steve here again. Um, I've just finished repairing this um, oscillating fan where the blades weren't spinning, it stopped spinning. Now the reason for that was um, it got some gunk and got some stuff caught up in, in the bushing, so it just made it really tight. So I completed that, uh, we pulled it apart, give it a clean, and put some uh, lubricant in it, some oil, and put it back together. There should be a video link um, in there for that as well. Now, for this video, I wanted to talk about the actual costs and the power usage of fans. Um, I was just thinking about that um, as I was putting this together. I thought, why not just have a bit of a look? And to be honest, I didn't even know. Um, I only have a rough idea. I know that the fans um, are very efficient, don't use much power in comparison to a heat pump or, or a um, uh, an air conditioning unit. And they are, I think, typically around you know, two kilowatts or thereabouts. Um, and I'm not sure if that's constant or they probably cycle in and out. But fans like this, like this one here, the nameplate rating on this is 50 watts. 50 watts is very small. In comparison to the cost of electricity, the cost of electricity here in Australia, well, where I am, they're about around 30 cents a kilowatt hour, up and down, depending on what deal you can get and where you're living. Um, so even at... 50 uh, watts, if you, this use 50 watts all the time, um, it's going to be quite efficient. It's going to cost one and a half cents per hour to use. So uh, very good. And a typical ceiling fan is going to be very similar to that as well. Um, but I want to know just a bit more details around um, this specific unit, how much it uses, and what about the speed settings? So because there's three speed settings on this, on this fan, this low, medium, high, um, it doesn't make any difference at all. I've already got a power meter uh, that I purchased a while ago and it'll tell us how much power um, anything that's plugged into is using uh, instantaneously. So we'll go and have a look at that and um, see what difference it is and see how much power these use. So I'll start off on the, on the lower setting. And it started off at a bit higher with the startup current and it's using just under 33, 32 and a half watts. Uh, remembering that this is a 50 watt rated or the name plate says 50 watts. On medium, 35, so just have a slight increase on that and at peaks it has 38 there just under 30 37.8, so say 38 watts. Um, and the lower setting, as you can see, was around that 32 um, watts. So in an hour, it's going to use 32 watt hours. Um, and what does that work out to in, in dollars? So as I said, the so the at 50 watts rating, it's going to work out to be uh, one and a half cents per hour, and at the low low setting, just on that around that thirty two, it's going to be about one cent per hour, and at the highest setting there, it'll be around um, yeah one point two cents, one point one to one point two cents per hour. So basically, what it's saying is it's very efficient, uh, very very low cost. It doesn't, doesn't matter what setting it is, but there is a slight decrease in power consumption between the uh, the different speed settings. So, um, yeah, and uh, that would be the same for ceiling fans. They're very efficient in comparison to um, any other heating uh, or cooling, cooling method. Um, there you go. Thank you uh, for watching, and I hope you um, got something out of that. I learned something here today. Um, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.